Mr. Holmes isn't in person? No, Your Honor. Mm. Mm. Was on the bus at 8.20 this morning. So he should have been on the bus. He should have been on the bus at 7.20. He should have been on the bus at 7.20 trying to get to court at, at 9 o'clock. All right, this is case number uh, 20. <clears throat> Four four five two six zero one. The people of the state of Michigan versus Denzel Mark Cox. The defendant is charged with one count of operating with the high BAC. Today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearances, please. For the record, John and Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And Ryan Marat, PA three six six five, on behalf of Mr. Denzel Cox. Mr. Cox, sir, please unmute your device and state your full name for the record. Denzel Mark Cox. Thank you, sir. Today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Mr. Murad, how are we proceeding? Your Honor, at this time, Mr. Cox continues his plea of not guilty. We ask the matter be scheduled for a final pretrial conference, um, and we'd like all discovery, Judge. Court is going to continue a not guilty plea on behalf of Mr. Cox setting a final pretrial conference for Monday, November the 6th. At 9 o'clock a.m., discovery should be submitted by Friday, October 6th. Bond will continue with no drinking, no driving, and Mr. Cox um, must submit to uh, random your analysis twice per month. Yes, Judge, his contact info has already been forwarded. Anything further? Oh, thank you, Judge. You're all right, then we're all set, Mr. Cox. Have a great day. Stay safe, sir. All right, I'm ready on Morello. And then you sent me the Register for Randall, correct? What is Mr. Sherbo showing up on in here with no jacket, no tie? Good morning, Mr. Sherbo. Why are you even here? I don't see you on my dock. He's trying to turn off his camera. No, I'm not turning her off, but I didn't. You know, I've been calling, Your Honor. I know I'm not on the docket, but Miss Stevenson and I and Roger Farina have that trial with the, the juries. Yes. Uh, Mr. Freen and I are going to waive the juries. What? And I've been calling, leaving a message. We're trying to help you out a little bit. So I, and, and I called last week. I don't want to wait till the last minute to tell you. So I, I'll go put my tie on. No, that's okay. Cause I, I'm not doing anything. All right. Um, okay. Mr. Uh, Sherbo. <laughs> Not that I want all, not that I want you all to waive your jury, but okay. Uh, uh, I will give you a date to come in to waive that jury. Uh, right, and and then Roger and I can come in, and we just were, again didn't want to come in at the last minute. I appreciate it. That's going to make things a lot uh, simpler for Mister Navin. But so that is September 11th. Why don't you all just? Um, So today is the third. All right. I'm, this week is a short week for me. Uh, why don't you come in next uh, Thursday? Can you come in next Thursday with your clients? And I, then I can come in whenever you want. I'll I'll talk to Mr. Farina and Miss Ritter, and um, I I know Miss Stevenson's here, and I've advised her what we were going to do because she's our third party in there. Um, and the only thing I'd remind the court is I did indicate that on that Monday afternoon, I had that matter in 50th District Court. Right. And uh, so now with the jury being gone, maybe uh, well, we can work around it. I'm trying to file yeah. a motion to get that out of the way. So we'll see. Okay. No, we absolutely can work around it. So um, I, I can take the waiver next week. Oh. You tell us when and we'll be there on Zoom or in live. Zoom um, next Wednesday or Thursday, whichever is. I prefer uh, Thursday, but if Mr. Right. Farina can. What time? 
uh, anytime. Well, I'm not, I'm not being honest. Just let's say uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, and I'll let Mr. Farina know and Ms. Ritter that um, I smooched into the uh, <laughs> into the Zoom today and that we talked and that's the day you want us back. Okay, yes, Ms. Ritter, she'll be here. She's here okay. right now. All right. Okay, and uh, Ms. Stevenson knows also then. Right, okay, okay. thank you, Mr. Sherman. Thank you, John, it's nice to see right. you. Nice to see you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Flanagan, put that on the docket for... Tuesday at 10 o'clock, I mean, Thursday, Thursday the 7th. Thursday the 7th at 10 o'clock. Ooh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this is case number 20442001, the people of the state of Michigan versus Michael Anthony Morello, defendant is charged with one count of accident failing to stop at a collision damage accident. And today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. I'm Ryan Murad, PA3665. On behalf of Mr. Michael Morello. Mr. Morello, please uh, unmute your device, sir, and state your full name for the record. Michael Anthony Morello. All right, today is the day set for pretrial conference. How are we proceeding? Move for dismissal for complainant's failure to appear, Your Honor. Ms. Ritter. Judge, um, this is at least the second scheduling of the pretrial conference. Um, the court did require a complainant witness to be present. I don't see the complainant witness, Mr. David. Shones in the waiting room, Judge. There's an unidentified device in the waiting room. I believe the court already identified that device earlier, but nonetheless, Your Honor, I don't have an explanation as to why the complaining witness, Mr. Shones, is not present. And at this time, Your Honor, the people will not be able to proceed based on the complaining witness's failure to appear today. Today's a day set for a pretrial conference. It is at least the second scheduling of the pretrial conference. It appears or it looks like Mr. Morello didn't appear at the last pretrial conference, but neither did the complaining witness. Who was here, Judge? I'm sorry? Who was here, Your Honor? Well, why is it at 835? Should be at 836. See how the times make me accuse people of stuff? I need my times to be correct. I mean, I really do. I mean, it's just so, it's just like really important to me. Okay. Um, all right. The court is going to grant defense counsel's motion and dismiss the matter without prejudice for failure of the complaining witness to appear bond. Oh, I was going to say bond with the team. We will mail a copy of the order of dismissal for your record, sir. Have a great day. Stay safe. Thank you so much, Judge. You as well. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm ready on. I guess I'm ready on Randall. And then I don't have everybody highlighted. Let's see. Oh, I'm ready on Thomas, Mr. Thomas, who was supposed to be on the dock. And then, oh, Mr. Gordon. Okay. And then I don't know, we'll try to, I don't remember who that other device was. I think I did ask them their name. But they're not highlighted, so I don't remember who they are. That other person. I'm ready on Thomas. This is case number. Um, oh, I don't have the case number. Hold on. I got to look at my register. All right. This is case number 2045-62. Nine zero one, the people of the state of Michigan versus DeAndre Thomas. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. And today is the date set for pretrial conference appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. 
Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Mr. DeAndre Thomas. Mr. Thomas, sir, please tell the judge your full name. Yes, ma'am, DeAndre Thomas. All right, today is the day set for pretrial conference with Mr. Thomas keeps not showing up for this case. I'm looking at the register and it's not a first time pretrial conference. Um, Mr. Thomas keeps going in the warrant status. We had a final pretrial conference back in 2021 after Mr. Thomas had capious and the matter was scheduled for 835. That was the beginning of 2021. And he had previously capious in 2020, but of course we were probably given grace in 2020. Um, all right, so we're not gonna keep doing this. So the answer to your question is didn't is probably denied, Ms. Stevenson, but uh, how would you wish to proceed? Thank you, Your Honor. On behalf of Mr. Thomas, um, I have heard the court, but I would move for dismissal for the complainant's failure to appear. Mr. Thomas advised me um, in our breakout this morning that at his last hearing, um, the court did specifically indicate to him that the matter would be dismissed were the complaining witness to fail to appear. Talking about um, his Mr. last Thomas, hearing, back, excuse me, I, this, that was, you, I apologize. You talk about his last hearing back in 2021? No, Your you, Honor. You, okay, no. well, what, what hearing are you talking about? Help I'll me. pull the date for you, just a second, Judge. Okay, point me to that date. That would be on July 24th, Your Honor, um, when today's hearing was set. And I do understand it didn't make it to the docket, but Mr. Thomas was here for pretrial conference on July 24th. He says that he heard with his ear that the court would be dismissing the matter if the complaining witness did not fail if the complaining witness failed to appear. Um, Mr. Thomas um, has lost a job, Your Honor, because the, can, the matter continues. Um, and his housing, I, I believe, is that. at risk at this point. Oh, now I don't care about that after I see his, pre, his register of action where he missed three times. I do see where he was here in July. And I pro and it was pro on the docket, so I didn't get a, I didn't see the pre the the register of action. But him not being able to keep his job because of this case, this case was supposed to be over back way back in 2021. I saw that on the register of action. This case was supposed to be over. Okay, so him the case still going on. That's that's not my business. But go ahead, Miss Stevenson. And for those reasons, Your Honor. Um... It, primarily the complaining witness is not present today, we have moved for dismissal. Ms. Ritter. Yes, yeah, so I did hear the court. I do understand that um, back in July, there was a pre-trial conference scheduled for today requiring the complaining witness to be present. However, judge, I guess due to um, a clerical error, the case wasn't put on the docket, so the people were not aware of today's hearing and today's um, requirement for the complaining witness to be present. So at this time, Judge, I'm still going to ask for an adjournment, a brief adjournment if that, that satisfies the court. But the people would like to give the complaining witness one more opportunity to appear for this uh, case. And we were ready for jury trial. He was he was on the jury trial track back in 2021. And then he failed to appear. Yeah. He was supposed to get that jury trial date. And we would have had that jury trial last year. Yeah, I'm looking at it. So it looks like the complaining witness appeared in 2021 and the people were ready to proceed. Um, and then we've had a couple of capuses, as I said, but I am looking at the register of action 
where we were here in July of 20, uh, I'm sorry, July 24th, 2023. And then I wanna tell you ex my exact words. I'm gonna tell you my exact words. I said, the court is gonna set the matter for a pretrial conference, August the 28th, 2023. The complaining witness is required to appear. Failure of the complaining witness to appear will most likely result in the matter being dismissed unless the people have a valid explanation as to why the complaining witness failed to appear or should not be required to appear. Those were my exact words on the last date without me even uh, having to review the uh, transcript. So the people have a valid explanation today as to why the complaining witness did not appear. And it's because Somebody didn't put this on our docket and in preparation for the docket, they did not um, notify their witness because the case was not on the docket. So I need the cases to be on the docket. I need the cases to be on the docket. I need the cases to be on the docket. Okay. So I am going to deny defense counsel's motion for a dismissal as I believe the people have a valid explanation. May, may I speak just? No, you may not. I am going to adjourn the pretrial conference, giving the people the opportunity to notify their complaining witness of the obligation that they appear before the court again so that we can see if they are willing to proceed with the case. Uh, I need the case to be in on the docket so that it's no issues, but I'm going to do a shorter adjournment this time. And I'm going to have to squeeze it in. So today is August the 28th. We're going to have to squeeze it in for. Well, now that I don't have to um, do, or I may not, I don't know if people want to object or not. Uh, how, how many do I have on September 11th, Mr. Flanagan? Twenty-four. Yeah. Um, what about September twelfth? Sixteen. What about September thirteenth? Twenty-eight. That's going to be a hard day for me to do the trial. All right, I'm going to set the matter for September the fifteenth. It's noted, Judge. Thank you. All right. Anything further? No, thank you, Judge. Um, nothing further for the record on behalf of Mr. Thomas. Could Mr. Thomas go back to a breakout, please, Your Honor? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> All right. Can, I, can we do something different right here? I mean, I waited on you and now I still have to wait on you. Goodness. Madam Court Reporter, are you present? This is. Yes, Judge, I am. Thank you. This is a mess. I'm not going to do Miss Randall. This is a mess for Miss Randall to be sitting up somewhere in the bed. Ma'am. I'm not going to do that. I'm ready on Gordon. Are we ready on Gordon? Because that's a mess. That's a mess. Who's doing Gordon? Miss Stevenson? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Do, do you need... I, I don't know. I don't know. Did you get a phone number for Miss Randall? I did, Judge. Call her, because that's a mess. And it's disrespectful. And I'm not doing it. All right, well, look like we on break again until Ms. Stevenson come back.
Mr. Gordon, can you adjust your camera so we can see your face, your full face? Thank you. This is case number 2445-7701, the people versus Timothy Gordon. The defendant is charged with one count of larceny. Today is the date set for sentencing appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And for the record, Your Honor, Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Mr. Timothy Gordon. Mr. Gordon, sir, please unmute and just say your full name. Timothy Allen Gordon. Today is a day set for sentencing. Mr. Gordon is scheduled at 8.59, indicating that no pre-sentence investigation was ordered nor requested. Um, is there anything with respect to sentencing on behalf of the people? Your Honor, on behalf of the people with regards to sentencing, I'm asking the court to adopt the people's recommendation of a term of probation, um, full restitution to be paid in the amount of $179.99, no contact with the complaining witness or her address, and that's... <laughs> Uh, prevention awareness classes judge uh, the people had no objection to 771 in this matter if the court was inclined to grant Mr. Gordon a delay sentence on behalf of Mr. Gordon in that I'm asking the court to follow the people's recommendation your honor and that Mr. Gordon um, has expressed his desire I think from the, his first pre-trial to go ahead and handle this matter lawfully and try to move forward to put it behind him. Mr. Gordon has expressed um, remorse, at least to me, I don't know what he would be doing today, but he has expressed remorse. And he does want the court to know um, that he does have several um, medical problems and several surgeries that would be upcoming. Um, he was most concerned about his ability to meet with probation, Your Honor, but um, I've told him that he may have some options with regard to that. Um, and Mr. Gordon is ready to go ahead and do whatever this court tells him to do so that he can put this matter behind him. And somebody, Ms. Ritter, give me the facts of the case. Yes, Your Honor. So in this case, Judge, um, Mr. Gordon was at the home of the complainant witness where he took the ring doorbell camera off of the complainant witness's um, home, Judge. All right. Court is ready to impose sentence. I will do so in the following manner. Court will impose a probationary period of eight months with a final review date. Of April the. Twenty ninth, two thousand and twenty four. Oops. with the following terms and conditions. You shall not violate any criminal law of any governmental unit. You must not leave the state of Michigan without consent of the court. This will be a non-reporting probation. You must Notify the court immediately of any change of your address, phone number, or employment status. You will pay the following fines, costs, and fees, $210 mandatory cost, a $100 attorney's fee, a $250 fine, restitution in the amount of $179.99. 
Total fines, costs, and fees are $739.99. You shall not use or possess any illegal substances. You shall not use or possess any marijuana without a valid medical marijuana card. You shall not drive without a valid license. You shall not possess or use any opiates without a valid prescription. You shall attend the theft awareness program and the choices program with eBay. And you don't mind me asking, Your Honor? What, I do mind. What? Okay. Can you let me finish my sentencing? Um, wow. Ms. Ritter, can you tell? You said he took the ring camera off the off the porch. Did he know the person? What? Help me. Mm -mm. You're muted. I'm sorry, Judge. Just to supplement that information, so um, it appears that Mr. Gordon was working on the home next door to the complainant witness. Um, the complaining witness does not know Mr. Gordon, nor does Mr. Gordon know the complaining witness. He walks up to the complaining witness's porch and just removes the ring door bill um, camera off of the porch. Um, the next day, I believe, that's when the complaining witness noticed that her ring doorbell camera was missing. She reviewed the camera footage, and that's how Mr. Gordon was um, identified as being the person removing the ring doorbell camera off of the complaining witness's home. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything further for the record with respect to Mr. Gordon? Judge, with respect to the, the restitution, would I still have to go through probation to give them the complaining witnesses contact information? Mm -mm -mm. You give it to supply it to Mr. Flanagan. They they've sent it through um downstairs. All right, Ms. Steve, nothing, Steve. nothing for Mr. Gordon, Your Honor. Mr. Gordon appeared to have some questions. I'll put them back in the breakout room. You all could talk to him when you can. All right, the device isn't connecting. And I actually think this was the device that didn't connect last time. Oh, now it's connected. They get ready to get kicked out. Okay, just as they were getting ready to get kicked out, please unmute and tell the court your name. This is Paul Henry, Your Honor. I got cut off a while ago with a phone call. They shut my phone off. I had a phone call, Your Honor. They shut my phone off. I lost okay. the They didn't phone. shut your phone off. The fact that you on on the phone and trying to attend court, you need Don't to. Uh, you need I, to. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, Paul Henry. We your phone. already did him. Yeah, he's just. He got this case is done. Listen, I don't know what's going on and why all y'all interrupted Miss Hill. Apparently, he wasn't paying attention and he don't know that he's finished. <laughs> Apparently. So, yes, yeah, let's put him back in the breakout room. Maybe he wasn't listening to the whole conclusion of the matter. Okay. So, 